What's up guys, it's Legend X Drone and today I have another reaction video for you guys. Today we're going to be reacting to the Apex Legends Legacy Gameplay Trailer. Now I'm very excited about this because we're finally about to get a look at some of the stuff that we're going to be getting for Season 9. We're going to get a look at uh, Valk Endgame, we're going to get a look at the Bow Endgame, and of course Arenas, which everybody's been excited for for a long time now, ever since it got leaked a while back. So I'm very excited and really curious to see how everything's about to play out, of course, Valk's abilities to be able to see how the bow is going to work in game, the marksman class, and of course the arenas and seeing what that's about to be like. This is a six minute long video, so you already know we're about to get a lot of good stuff in it. So I'm very excited, and of course, if you guys are excited as well, please be sure to drop a like to help support my channel. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this gameplay trailer. All right, Apex Legends Legacy. Let's see what this season nine is going to have to offer. Is that an arena map? New permanent mode. 3v3s, let's go. I hope the leaks are right about us eventually getting six v6 custom tailored maps. Power, but what you do with it, Yo, this is gonna be so cool to see like points of interest. It's like different arenas. You already know Skull Town's gonna have to be one. Are where the champions are crowned, but the arenas. Are where legends are made. I said danger close. Weren't you listening? The arenas are my games. They're not about fame or spectacle. Yo, these they arena are maps look nice. The they're, they're definitely simple. a bit bigger than I it's thought just it would be. Your squad and their squad. Okay, we got Peacekeep. Whoever survives. Does that mean to pay? Ooh, an Octane is. skin. So. Now pay attention. Peacekeep is going to be forward? This is how the game is played. Assemble your squad. That's a nice race skin. Definitely a nice begins, skin for are Rampart. In their spawn room so it's like an Asian theme? Shop. Here you can purchase weapons, items, and abilities with crafting materials. Wait, so we're going to have to purchase the guns for Arena? I amount of materials at the start of each round. You may earn more through your performance. Oh wow, so this is going to be like some other games, like, uh, what's that one game we started no playing? Uh, uh, I, can't, I can't remember, I'll remember in a moment. Where's all my stuff? Materials can be used to upgrade okay. weapons, making you an even greater threat. This is really going to be interesting phase, to see how this is going to play out. And the fun begins. Both teams engage in combat until one side is wiped out. Downed teammates can still be revived. But in this game, there are no respawns. Use the pressure. Oh, wow. It's the only way to survive. Supply bins containing consumables and material canisters are scattered throughout the arena. So I guess you'd use that. A single airdrop containing three weapons arrives in the middle of each use round. Use that between ma the the matches the weapons the in the drop pod increases from round to round. Use them to overpower your competition. It's high risk. High reward. Maybe next time you should try a different path. Yo, the first this team. is going to be wow. Three victories with a two-win margin will be declared the champion. If teams battle to a deadlock four-four tie, round nine is my favorite part. Sudden death. Dotting up some amped cover. Knock down more than a few. I just noticed that everybody's kind of like moving around. Do we have like ground emotes now? As an optimal combat testing Not to skydives? I know that, that was leaked a while back that we might be getting. wasn't the first of its kind. A prototype long abandoned rests in a remote section of Talos. Luckily, it remains intact and functional, providing unique combat opportunities to those clever enough to seize them. There's a research afoot. And then, of course, uh. Coma was simply another Outlands hotspot turned yesterday's news until an ill These maps joyride. look really Even detailed and nice. Like, oh my gosh. With my assistance. I guess with them being smaller areas, they can really focus on detail. Thank you for this. I feel much better about myself now. I have also secured some viable locations throughout the Outlands to serve as arenas. And don't get too comfortable. The future promises to be a bit fiery. I think someone's here. Oh, oh what was yes. that? A new oh. legend has joined oh. the fight. This 
Little One and I share a common legacy. Pilot blood runs through her veins. This is Valkyrie. Sending down Hellfire. Ooh, that's her. Oh. As she is reckless. Friend or foe, make sure you look up. Oh, see, she, she do. She does have like the like the mobile uh crap. What is that called? Not jump pad. The arenas are the ultimate test of skill and resolve. So I have a gift. Jump tower. I don't know why it took me a second bow. to think about it. Mobile jump tower. That's crazy. This precision weapon requires patience and pinpoint consistency. It is made even deadlier with This looks just like a bloodhound weapon, though, for real. Legends can combine shatter caps, splitting the arrow tip into a shotgun pattern, and dead eyes tempo, allowing a faster draw when firing at the optimal pace. Master all of this, and you will become a true assassin. You gotta take risks to reach. I'm really curious to see how well the bow is gonna do in game. Instinctive. Hopefully, you can impress me. I'll see you in the arena. Olympus security perimeter alert. Multiple unknown ships entering secure space. All personnel, please secure docking stations and prepare for arrival. Security forces on full alert. Strap and mutiny. Oh, what's happening? Things are about to get mighty interesting. Is this story mode? Oh, infested Olympus. Whoa. I forgot they said they're gonna change Olympus. Whoa. So th that is a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. Man, I'm trying to Arenas looks really nice. Let me start by saying that. Like the maps look really good. Of course, I guess because they're small, they're a lot more detailed. So they look really, really nice. They're a lot bigger than what I thought they were gonna be as well. So I'm I that actually looks pretty exciting. Of course, uh, they said that you're going to have to like buy the weapons in between with crafting materials. I don't mind that. That's like that one game. I don't know why I can't think of what it is. Oh, I, I know I'm going to remember it as soon as I'm done recording. I already know it's going to happen. But that it, I, I don't mind that at all. I want to say... I want to say this is going to be pretty interesting seeing how they actually like go about with um, how this is going to play out. Especially like if they decide to do like ranked. Because... It's definitely like it could be a bit more competitive. I'm I'm really curious to see how far Arena goes. And of course we know we have leaks of different modes they're gonna add to it. Um this just be a six v six eventually. I wanna say a four v four. So I'm really curious to see how far they go with the arena mode. That's man, this is definitely gonna change up Apex forever, honestly. And I'm really excited about it, of course. And then Valk Valk looks really, really nice. Um I really like how her ult is and the fact that she does have the mobile jump tire like was leaked so long ago that is going to be a game changer because as far as like rotation and rotating around the map like man that's about to be crazy so I'm actually really curious to see how she's actually going to be playing in game of course I don't want to get too far ahead of myself like I did with Fuse because Fuse ended up being a letdown so but let's go ahead and like run back through the video, see if we can catch anything that we did not see. And of course, I'm going to lower the volume down just a little bit. But I'm really excited. And it seems like we're going to be having like a Asian thing, I'm guessing, on how uh, the Battle Pass skins are going to be. So I'm actually really hype about that as well. Of course, with everything being Asian themed, you know, because uh, Valkyrie, of course, um, is an Asian character. Then, of course, there's rumors Crypto will be getting his heirloom. So I'm pretty excited as a Crypto main. This season is already shaping up to be like an amazing season, and I cannot wait. The Apex Games are where the champions are crowned. And this is really cool to see that evidently points of interest that we know of, and of course, different ones as well that they're going to be adding. But um, the ones we do know of are going to be turning into arena maps, which is really cool because that means places like Skull Town could become an arena map, which is going to be very interesting. And it's funny because Skull Town being what it was back in the day is part of why we'll probably they even thought of doing an arena mode. But hold on, I want to go back and look at this Octane skin because, man, that looks nice. And as you can see, hold on, 
we do see him using the peace key which more than likely means that the peace keep is going to be back to being floor loot which i'm very curious to see what gun they're going to put up because i i was wondering if maybe they might put up the spitfire considering how it's been but there was a leak saying that it might be the triple take so i'm kind of curious to see what they do this octane skin looks really really nice i'm guessing it's going to be a battle pass skin for the season No wonder with Ash doing this. Hold on, let's, let's get this race skin. Hold on, that thing looks nice. I don't even like race. So this looks really cool, like the little Oni mask on. You know they have to get hook Wraith up with a skin every season, and then of course we got this really nice looking Rampart legendary skin as well. Before the fight begins. And then a Mirage skin, which. Uh, it could be a bit better. I'm guessing this is probably going to be a rare skin, not a legendary skin, because typically, you know, like the rare skins, they don't change up as much, and for the most part, it doesn't like they really the change his normal skin. And this is going to be interesting. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go back. So, do you have to pay for your own, to use your own abilities? Because I see, like, the crafting materials right here, uh, where Revenant skills are and whatnot. So, do you have to, like, pay to have your own abilities? This is going to be so interesting. I actually am looking very much forward to Arena because this is about to be a game changer. I guess that's why I decided to name it Apex Le um, Legends Legacy for the season. Materials can be used to upgrade weapons. This is going to be what changes the, se the series for, At the end of the you know, phase, the duration of drop, this, you know, begins. being Most prominent. Engage in combat until one side is wiped out. Downed teammates can still be revived. But in this I still can't get over how good these no maps response. look. Like, it's crazy. It's the only way to survive. Supply bins containing consumables and material canisters are scattered throughout the arena. A single airdrop containing three weapons arrives in the middle of each round. The tier of the weapons in the drop pod increases. Yo, she from ate Gibby, bro. <laughs> Use them to overpower your competition. Honestly, she it's ate everybody on this team. It's like a little typical sweaty race. You should try a different path. The first team to score three victories okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So is this like a win round thing where they do like the little emotes? Or is this something we're actually going to be able to do in the game now? The first team to score three victories with a two win margin will be declared the champion. Yo, that's kind of fire though. Wraith looks look a bit crazy though. A little bit crazier than usual. Teams battle to a deadlock four. Teams battle to a deadlock okay. four four times. Trying to get back to that. Or... Will be declared the champion. If yeah, she looks crazy. Three victories for the but that is cool. Like, it was rumored for a champion. while that we were supposed to be getting, like, ground Teams emotes. So that's really awesome if we do finally time. get that in this season. Nine is my favorite part. Sudden death. Dosing up some amped cover. Okay, so it's cool that there's going to be, like, a sudden death thing. But, like, what is, the, like, the... Like, how is it going to be, like, to kind of, like, make things more intense? It's making me think, like, sudden death, like, Smash, like, how the whole screen is, like, closing in, or, like, I think they do the same thing in, what is Splatoon? The whole screen is, like, closing in, so, like, what are you going to do to make it more hype? Luckily, it remains intact and functional, providing unique combat opportunities to those clever enough to seize them. There's a research afoot. And then, of course, uh, utter me him. Coma was simply another Outlands hotspot turned yesterday's news until an ill-fated joyride gave it a new landmark. You're welcome. Hmm. With my assistance. And I guess this is now where Mirage Voyage is going to be. So I guess it's going to be just part of our arena mode instead of being a part of the actual Battle Royale map. I'm guessing maybe. We'll have to see because, you know, we're getting infested Olympus now. So I wonder if it's going to be a part of the changes as well. And don't get too comfortable. The future promises to be a bit fiery. Yo, this Valk ult is pretty cool. So we got another person that's going to bomb the area like Bangalore and uh, Gibby. So I'm kind of curious. So 
her ult is the bombs, or is it the, or is it the sky dive? Wait, so her, her tactical? Okay, I'm thinking it's the tactical. That she's the mobile uh, jump tower. I don't know. Her abilities are kind of confusing, but it, at the same time, though, she's look. She looks really lit. So I have a gift. The Bojek compound bow. This precision weapon requires patience and pinpoint consistency. It is made even deadlier with its two hop-up slots. Legends can combine shatter caps, splitting the arrow tip into a shotgun pattern. And dead eyes tempo, allowing a faster draw. The bow is gonna be pretty interesting because of course, I feel like it's going to take time for people to master it, but I feel like once they get it mastered, I'm pretty curious to see like how it's really going to be in that like, high-level gameplay, like ranked and whatnot. It's definitely going to be funny, though, getting sniped from across the map with a bow. I'm, I'm really curious to see how the bow is going to end up being overall. please secure docking stations and prepare for arrival. And then I wonder what they're gonna do story mode wise. Uh, I feel like it's gonna. I feel like it's gonna deal with a little bit of why Olympus is gonna become invested. But I'm very curious to see like what they do because I know they talked about for a while bringing back like an actual interactable story like how they did with the Broken Ghost back in season five. So I'm really curious to see if we eventually get something like that. Though to be honest, I feel like this season is gonna be more so like the comic books again. But overall everything is looking nice like i am hyped they did not lie when they said this is going to be a hype season because i feel like they're definitely about to deliver and i'm just i'm just ready to start playing honestly at this point especially the arena mode i 3v3 arena mode man team deathmatch basically like i i'm actually so hyped for this because it's been a while since i actually played like a team that de um team deathmatch type game so this is going to be very interesting to see but of course what do you guys think about the new uh, the new trailer that we got are you guys excited are you guys really hyped for you know the arenas val be sure to let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below as always if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to drop it a like to help support my channel and of course be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe for more apex content this is legend x ronin and i'll see you guys in the next video honestly Ooh. Boy, Pathfinder kicked the mess out of Loba.